How's it going folks? This is just another quick review of more TT Combat Halflings. Um, these are the TT Combat Halfling Spearmen as part of the 2018 Kickstarter. Um, I picked them up in the Fantasy Heroes Army Box. I just thought I'd do a quick rundown of them because I don't really see many reviews for them. And I know I just like to see maybe not quite so popular minis get reviewed. Um, so as you can see, there's only six of them here. Now you do get them in a unit of 20. Uh, I'll show you, I'll run through and explain how that's done as we go. So I'll take out my hero. So you have three, three command, which consists of a shield, or sorry, a standard, a drummer and a, a champion. The rest of the unit of 20 is made up of multiples of these characters here. You have two front row, a third, sorry, three, three, three front rows, and then two more um, back rows or end rows. Personally, I'm going to be using these for a mix of Frostgrave and Warlord of Arrowin, perhaps Oathmark, so they don't need to necessarily rank and file up. But if you want to rank and file them, you get roughly equal amounts of each of these. Um, I think I ended up with five of this type here. Uh, I think I had three of him and two of him, and the remainder were from these. You also then get your command squad, which consists of a, st a standard bear, a spear and a standard onto it, a drummer, which has a rather, almost like a drum from Skyrim. Doesn't really look historical to me, so it's maybe a bit more of the fantasy era. And then you have your champion with sword and shield in the back. So I'll just take a quick run through. I have a few of them prepared, already snipped off and started cleaning, but I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on these ones. And I'll start with these guys. Um, I mean, easy. They, they all fit pretty well together. I'll just try and get um, the main focus. As with the rest of the TT Combat models I've found, even when they are scrubbed and these have been cleaned, there's still that remnant of release agent. Um, it's not, in my opinion, the greatest resin, but at the cost you get these for, um, roughly a pound a mini, nobody's going to really complain. Where I do have an issue with is these vents. Um, they always seem to, to, to go on to awkward areas. I mean, you take a look down, there's two on his, on his feet, um, on his big toes. Um, that is a constant bugbear of mine. They're in hard places, and I'll, I'll explain where it gets aggravating as well when some of the ones have cleaned. Uh, but they're nice, they're character, uh, characterful. I have a warp lock uh, fleeing halfling here, so they're you know they're a good a good skill. They'll mix in with others. Um, here's a Hobbit from Games Workshop. Their proportions are slightly slightly bigger than the the, the true skill one, but you know I th think personally they'll fit in well. I know they certainly fit in with the War Games Atlantic ones. The captain. Or your your unit hero. Um, I'll probably just use him. Probably as unit hero, and then it's just like RPGs or thugs in Frostgrave. Um, that there is what I don't like, as I was mentioning earlier. So all these small vents. This one's not too bad, but there are quite a few. So there's one, and really, really, for what what you're paying costs to. Uh, Cost to value, nobody's going to really complain. Um, same here, drummer. He has been slightly clean. I'm leaving these bottom gates on because of the way I paint and mount them on my base. My bases. Um, sorry, my lighting's not great at the minute. Um, I'm using a new bulb, so we'll see what happens over the incoming um, few days. So on the how they how they arrive, they come in a bubble wrap bag in a small enclosure. 
they come. This is them as fresh. You can see there's quite a lot of, once again, uh, injection gates or these wee off, off cuts. Um, it does make it a lot more awkward to to deal with. Um, let's see if that's is that not causing the issue to clean up. Um, the biggest grievance I have with them is you see this one here right on the point. I can understand from a manufacturing point why they've done it. Uh, but even on this one here, it's the same on all of them. There is one, occasionally two, of these um, lugs. And if I were to show you some of the ones I've already cleaned, it's not always the easiest to get a sharp point and get it off cleanly. That one's pretty easy to do. Um, general cleanup as well can be quite extensive. Um, there are a good bit of cleanup, a good bit of cleanup to be done to it. But I mean, once again, like I say, what you're paying for them, fill out an army. You don't want them. You don't need them to be 100% perfect. Yes, it's nice, but you don't need them to be. There's just traditional halfling frying pan on the back. They are filled with nice wee. Uh, bits and pieces and as we move on I've kept the, the other three and I'll, I'll explain why in one piece. Um, so these three here, the uh, perhaps the front row ones or your, your stabbing halflings. First things first, they're all an adaption of the same sculpt. Uh, I don't particularly mind that but if you're looking for a unique set of minis this isn't where you're going to get them. They're all in the same pose. They're all roughly the same um, heights, and you know you can tell from looking at them that there's they're the same base model that's just been rejigged slightly for what they're after. Um, so we'll take them one at a time. This guy here, he's just a standard guy with a spear, nothing fancy on him. As we cup a shield on the back, and then his butchering knives. They have really played into. It being some form of village defence, where you know it's just every halfling that's that's available. They've got a spear, and off we go. He has got a a nice island tuft in his his head, so that could be a bit of fun. I may shave a couple of them off whenever I'm doing it. This guy here, probably more like your traditional halfling. I know I've seen a few bits of artwork that are are similar to it. These spears. Aren't my cup of tea. Just from a design wise, I think they look rather uh, rather clunky. Um, and this side and this side cause me hassle trying to clean them. Um, so once again, if I can see why they do it, knowing how TT do their molds, I can see why it's done like that. Yeah, just on the side, you have their wee canteen and then his shield as well. Once again, very useful. Town guard, hired thugs general rule plan and then one of my favorite ones and if you're from Nottingham you may get the uh, the hat this guy looks like almost like he could be out of Robin Hood if they did halfling Robin Hood um, there is a lot of flash in this one and occasionally you will find lots of flash in in there and lots of air bubbles uh, You can even see on the, the vents, there's a bit of flashing and resin access. But, you know, these have been cleaned and some of the flash did come off when I was scrubbing them. But, I mean, it just goes to show you how much is left. So, once again, my two annoying friends here and here. And then another one on the, the tip. Uh, so, I'll get these, a few of these based and painted and I'll fire up a few pictures. And then a few pictures of the ones from assembly as well after they're cleaned. 